What's the crack, lads? It is Monday morning, and we are going to take a run through as to what is going to be coming on Thursday and what's new today, right? So there isn't much to talk about today apart from the Barcelona pack that you see here. Uh, let me show you. This Barcelona pack here, Deco, Eto, and Edmilson. We'll get into those in a second. But yeah, we have finally got news. So Konami did tweet out earlier this morning on their Twitter about the next big update. And there's a small bit of news on this, right? I'll just hide my face cam here actually a second. You've got the update release date announcement on June 13th. The update version 3.6.0 will be released and Season 7, King of the Continent, will begin. Put your national pride on the line and engage in heated battles for dominance over the continent. Please wait a little longer until the update is released. And you have a graphic there as well, which confirms that it is coming on 13th of July, right? So it's going to be V3.6. Now, I'm going to talk about this for just a second, right? Because we have the, issue, the, the information here as well. Information release is releasing with V3.6. As a token of our gratitude, all users that install the game will receive a chance deal. After installing the update, blah, 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 right? The mind about that. Okay, but we finally have 100% confirmation now that V3.6 is going to come. And I'm going to tell you something, lads, and we're going to talk about this later on in the stream in about an hour's time or half an hour's time. I honestly feel like this is a huge update that needs to bang, right? They have to bang with this update, man. I don't know how much more I can say it like if this update this update there's a lot of pressure on it man because I feel like this is going to lead into eFootball 2025 maybe not essentially what this update is but what this update will be I think will kind of like usher in what changes we're going to get for eFootball 2025 and I'll kind of explain that in the live stream but basically what I mean is that I want to see what direction they're going for eFootball 2025 adding one or two modes to eFootball 2025 is not just going to cut it anymore. You know, we played a lot of UFL, and even though it's raw and it's miles away from where it needs to be for release, in my opinion, um, I definitely feel like eFootball still has that potential to, to bang at launch. But it's just about fulfilling that potential. You know, there is an unbelievable game in there with just toning down certain aspects, increasing other aspects, like toning down the defensive AI, toning down the aggressiveness of the AI and the way that it literally defends for you. And improving dribbling, improving space, improving cr chance creation, having a bit of variety in the tactics, right? Because I feel like at this stage, the daily game, the rotation of events, you know, you have your events back on Monday, your events back on Thursday. That is not going to cut it, I don't think, for a full year of eFootball 2025. I definitely think when more games come out, I just feel like that people are just going to, you know, yeah, you'll get newcomers all the time, but I feel like the tide is changing a little bit. We'll get into that in the live stream. In the other news here today, we also do have this Barcelona pack. You've got Deco, Eto, and Edmilson. I'm quite disappointed with this re-release. I thought that we would get Araujo and the Barcelona pack. There was rumors of that. I wasn't too far off, but it is a, a different Barcelona pack. Um, his balance is the big killer with his tight possession. I mean, he's not really a running gun. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys that have Samuel Eto will say that he beats for you, but I, I, I don't ever remember struggling and playing against him, I, especially this version of him. I think this is like a very weak card compared to what it could be. 65 balance is, is just not going to cut it. You're not going to get all up into the 80 mark. And then, of course, we have Deco. Deco is actually surprisingly good. He's probably the pick of the pack here. Really good balance, tight possession. His low pass with the booster and everything else with the booster, the dribbling is fantastic. I think probably one of the best orchestrator attacking midfielders in the game if you play him more attacking. Uh, one touch pass, you can give him a couple of more dribble moves if you want here as well. Um, but it's a, it's a fine card. We'll go into a review on that later on in the stream. And then, of course, you have Ed Mielsen. So a lot of people like Ed Mielsen as an anchorman. Um, he does kind of rival Rijkaard, but he doesn't have those long limbs of Rijkaard, even though he's got, you know, the height and stuff. He just doesn't seem to be as imposing in midfield. Now, I know a lot of people that do like this card, that he can play CB as well. It isn't a bad card at all, but I genuinely think that, yeah, this is this is kind of the only content that you're getting today, and they come in a selection pack with the these players here, right? This is the last of last season's content, I think. Furry Football V3.6, which we know we're going to, be, going to be getting on Thursday, this is going to round up that there's going to be 10 of these packs that are going to be gone. 10 of these packs are going to be replaced with this. So you're going to have V3.6 
ushering in a lot of new content and a lot of new cards, right? So let me just hide this here a second and I'm just going to show you my builds here if you want to just take a quick look at those. Um, let me see. So this is Deco here. You've got 10, 1, 4, 11, and 12 into his stats. Uh, so it's 10 into shooting, 11 into passing. You also have these guys, this Samuel Eto'o card here. His finishing is going to get into the 90s, but his tight possession and balance are going to be a big issue with that card. And that's 15 into dribbling, which we could tone down a little bit if you don't want to dribble in that spicy. But even at that, you're still not going to get the balance up over 90 or over 80 even. And Ed Mielsen, again, another card there for Ed Mielsen. 0, 4, 6, 10, 5, 5. 10 but to be honest boys all eyes i think now are on the next update the next update just has to bang there's no i i don't i don't want to hear any more about it man the next update has to bang yes we're going to have a brand new match pass yes we're going to have a brand new campaign and brand new objectives but it has to be more than that the daily game is not going to cut it going down the line any longer i think into eFootball 2025 i reckon that they will bring significant changes to eFootball 2025 but even away from content man and these type of you know gameplay stuff like, this is nice if you're just logging in and you're playing the game casually. But if you scratch beyond the surface after, like, two to three hours or three to four hours a week, or even, you know, playing 10, 15 hours a month of a game, there is very little to do in the game, apart from the same rinse and repeat rewards. So I definitely feel like that is going to be good. You also have a couple of known issues here as well. Um, there isn't really much to get into that. It's more about co-op, and it's more about achievement statuses with the objectives and objectives completing that aren't actually completing, and vice versa. And then last but not least as well, I know a lot of people like checking out these events and that they do play these events. But as usual on Monday, we do have co-op, which is gone and they are replaced with a national team event. So that is going to come. You know we're going to be getting the national team content coming and Messi and Griezmann cards should come as well. But that is it for me, lads. I'll be streaming in a little bit. We finally have news on V3.6. What do you guys want to see from the update? We will do a video very soon. We're also going to be doing a lot of breakdowns in the live stream in a little bit. Until next time, I will talk to you in about 20 minutes.